Hi, this is Crazy Girl in Black. Um, I'm using the Steampunk Tarot, um, Tarot set. Uh, this is a video response to uh, Cricket Song's Modified Celtic Cross. I've set up my cards, and I'm going to show you the definitions I have for each. Um, and this is a video response for uh, Lunar Wisdom. Alright, so we're going to move over to the first card. Oh, and a note, this is a uh, the steampunk tarot, and things are named a bit differently. Alright. Alright, so the first card is the focus and energy being drawn on um, unconscious or consciously. So you see this is the two leviathans, also known as the two of pentacles. And as you can see, um, there's a man and a woman, and they seem to be uh, loving in a loving relationship of some kind. So uh, maybe that's where my focus is. And uh, the number two card, uh, which is the obstacle or challenge I have to uh, get over to succeed. This is the uh, three of Leviathans, also known as the three of Pentacles. Um, as you can see, there are three men, uh, which look like they're still away on a on a ship of some kind. So maybe that could symbolize uh, someone who is bugging me or uh, interfering with work that I'm doing. Now we're going to move on to uh, number three, um, which symbolizes influence. What is the influencing and situational uh, thing or person? And uh, this is the ten of engines, and engines is uh, the wands in this tarot deck. Um, as you can see, there are people uh, leaving some kind of a shipwreck. So to me, this card symbolizes a survival of some kind. Um, like maybe this influences me to survive and push on no matter what's going on in my life. Um, we're going to move on to uh, the fourth card, um, which is uh, um, the f uh, the foundation the. F the foundation, where they are being uh, or started from, beginning or started from. Uh, what is the system? Like, is it a uh, strong or weak, positive or negative? Um, I'm not so sure if you could take this as a positive card, because to me, um, this is the messenger of uh, Leviathans, also known as the um, Page of Pentacles. So uh, it's kind of like a messenger. Basically, in my view, a messenger is almost like a spy. It could give you uh, good news, bad news. Um, it could influence on other people's privacy. So I'm not so sure about this card. Like, maybe the further the foundation means I will overhear something that I don't understand. Or I hear something I might not want to. Or something that uh, isn't very good. And uh, now we're going to move on to number five, which is Solarum that's also known as the sun in this deck and uh, the number five is uh, the message from the spirit so basically this card symbolizes the light in the darkness for me um, something that uh, in every single bit of uh, a tough time or something there's always something to look forward to in life and uh, it's always a, a good uh, this is a, a positive card in my view because as I said before it's the light in my darkness and now we're going to move on to uh, number six. And uh, number six is uh, what happened in the past, about six months or so. And this is the, the five of Leviathans, also known as the five of pentacles. Um, as you can see, uh, he, this man right here, is walking away from either a job or uh, some kind of, kind of machine that looks like it's um, destroying something like destroying the earth because you, you see you got the pollution going you got the fire burning so this is more of like a destructive influence um, so this could have shown a diff uh, difficult part of my past that I did have I did actually personally I did have a difficult past um, so this card uh, probably is uh, very accurate so now we're going to move on to the seventh one and um, the seventh one is uh, three months in the future and what might happen. So uh, this card is the Captain of Submersibles, which is uh, the, the the King of Cups, basically. Uh, no, not King, the, the Lord of Cups. Um, 
and uh, as you can see, he's on a, a submarine, and he's surrounded by uh, a, what used to be an ocean, and it's now like a, a lake. Not a lake, it's uh, more like a dried up desert. So he's uh, stranded there. So I might, this uh, probably symbolizes um, something in the future that I probably won't know what to do. Um, what might happen to me is that uh, I would come up with an idea or be put in a situation where I have no idea what to do next. So that, that um, I'll keep that as like a, a warning for my future. And now we're going to move on to number eight, which is um, my consciousness and my fears. Um, basically here we have the uh, two of engines and the engines are um, like I said before wands so we have the two of wands here and here for me the two of wands uh, symbolizes like a restart or charge up something to um, uh, give you in gamer terms like a power up of some kind um, because as you can see you have uh, the extension cord here and it looks like it's powering up some sort of an engine so uh, this takes me as a like a positive sign um, now we're going to move on to uh, number nine which is uh, the empress um, she's basically uh, the queen of uh, everything in normal tarot um, or the lady um, and basically the nine is uh, the environment, the people, place, and situations that w would, would happen. Um, basically here we have a uh, beautiful woman who is surrounded by, um, by statues of uh, female companions, what it looks like. And we have these orbs here that have uh, flowers. I'm not so sure if you can see it. They have flowers and nature inside. So um, I'm probably going to be put um, in this situation uh, I'm probably going to be put in some sort of a, a forest area and surra be surrounded by friends of some sort. Um, now we're going to move on to number 10. Uh, so, number 10. Um, we have the explorers. In regular tarot, they'd be called the lovers. Um, and number 10 is a uh, hope that will, a hope that you want to happen or a desire that you seek. Um, so basically this is showing that I'm seeking a relationship, a nice, kind, loving relationship. Um, so you can see that uh, these two people here, they do look like they're in love and they do look like uh, they're very happy together. And uh, now we're going to go to the final card that I have. Um, it's number 11. And uh, the final card uh, represents... Uh, the final outcome. So it represents the final outcome within uh, six months if uh, things don't change, if my path doesn't change. And uh, this one is called uh, the Cosmic Blueprint. Basically it's the world card in uh, regular tarot. And uh, basically what the world card is, it's not a uh, positive or a negative since within the world there are many different conflicts and many different problems. But there's also some good things in there, like uh, like beautiful lakes, and um, there's a hidden beauty uh, that you have to seek for. So basically this card tells me that I have to look, well to me, it tells me that I have to look for the good things and try to avoid the bad. And so that was my uh, tarot reading with uh, the Cricket Songs uh, Modified Celtic Cross. I hope you enjoy it. And uh, to uh, Cricket Song herself, I hope you continue all these videos because I enjoy them a lot. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching this. Uh, like, subscribe to my channel, uh, leave a comment down below, any questions or anything, and um, have a good day. Have a good day. Bye guys!